So my intention of this video is to get you to start thinking about the value of your time. Do you know what your time's worth? Have you ever sat down and put a monetary value to your time? Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome to the Beatmake channel where we discuss living an intentional life. So Bonnie War is a palliative nurse in the UK who wrote a book called The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying, A Life Transformed by Dearly Departing. It's a long title. So she started to write down the common themes she heard from people who are on their deathbed, the regrets that they have, which I will list for you now. Number one, not living a life true to myself, but rather living a life that other people expect of me. Number two, working too hard and missing my children grow up and not having a good relationship with my spouse and just spending too much of my time working. Number three, wishing they had the courage to express their feelings and therefore living truer to themselves. Number four, Wishing they had stayed in touch with friends. And number five, wishing they had let themselves be happier. of all of these things, the common theme in all of this, is not appreciating and valuing the time that you have. We have an interesting relationship with time. We trade our time for money, generally. We work somewhere because we need the money. We all need the money, but we don't consciously put a value on that time. So what I'm proposing is that if we start valuing our time more, a lot of these regrets are no longer even an issue. As soon as you value your time, you're not going to be wasting time on things that don't fit into your own personal values. Step one is finding what your time is worth. Sit down with your partner or yourself and run through the life that you envision yourself living. Do you want a nice car? Do you want a nice house? Write down everything that you want in your life and then put a monetary value to that. It's a budget, but I don't want to call it a budget. Call it a freedom chart. So once you've tabulated all of that, you're gonna have a total number per year of how much money it's going to take for you to live the life of your dreams. And why this exercise is so great is you realize that generally, you don't need as much money as you think you do. We don't all need $10 million before we're happy. Once you tabulate what you need for the whole year, that becomes a very achievable number for most people. <laughs> so we have a number for the entire year. Now you're gonna divide that by 365 days. And that's gonna give you how much money you need every single day in order to live your dream life. So step two in this process is identifying the priorities that you have in which you want to spend your time. Maybe you want to spend time with your kids. Maybe you want to go hand gliding. Maybe you want to learn a musical instrument. These are things you need to prioritize. They don't just happen. You have to prioritize them and then you need to hold on to those values. Schedule them and other than emergency situations, you keep that schedule because you're going to find when you start doing this, people are starting trying to take that time from you right and left. So you need to protect that time. So now you know your day rate, 
you know your priorities. The neat thing that this does is once you start valuing your time and knowing what it's worth, you can start saying no to things. And that's when your time really opens up. When you realize that you don't have to do every task that everyone thinks that you should do or everyone wants you to do, you can say no because your time is more valuable than that. So I hope some of you got something out of this. If you're still watching, hit that thumbs up button. That helps me a bit. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye. Have a great day. See you next time on my daddy's blog, Beat Mix.